hold your horses won't be long. I heard some screams from the basement. Of the Hi house. there, mister. Hello. Well, hello again. I got another one. You interested? How's things, Alden? Good. All right. This is a little different. Take the coach and deliver it to my contact. He'll pay you well for it. It's a fragile cargo, so go easy. Okay. But the money best be right. Oh, it is, Arthur. I promise it's very right. Thanks. Easy now. Fella, we're on a schedule here. Hello. Ah. Your back left wheel seems shaky to me. Looks like it's about to come off. Yeah? Ah, shit. Maxwell, go take a look. Right. I'm no expert, but looks all right to me.
Yep. Uh. Okay then. I figured this might be of interest to you. The hell you done to this poor thing? Here. Pleasure. See you again soon. You all right, girl? You're back. Go on, have yourself a quick nosy. Good morning to you. After a little tchotchke, are we? Better than a rabbit foot. Oh, you got something for me? All right. Done. Too many questions about All his right. previous ownership. Not a word to Wagner, nor no okay, else. girl.
Anything Biden, I wonder. Here we go. Here we go, come on. Ah, oh, you kidding me? Come on. Look at you! Yes! <laughs> ah, bluegill. Nice.
Yes. You, sir, are a fish. You're in luck, my friend. Okay then, girl. Hey, fellas, I have a meeting with Mrs. Braithwaite. My associates are already here. All right, that's enough. Move along now. Don't take that tone. I said hello. Why are you saying hello twice? Sir, this way, sir. A gentleman to see you, ma'am. So, your friend, the other liquor vendor. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Uh, Arthur, welcome. We were just playing cribbage. Arthur Morgan, Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. Nice to see you again. Apparently. So this one, he is big and as dumb as he looks. <laughs> well, he's surely big. But his intelligence is a matter of some conjecture. Some say he is as dumb as he looks, but I think, well, he's not quite that dumb. <laughs> so these are the boys going to Caliger Hall? Yes, we can take care of that for you, but one hates to be coarse. There is the question of money. <laughs> oh, we've got money, Mr. Matthews. Paper, bonds, metal. <laughs> she ain't gonna pay you in a certified check, you Yankee numbskull. 
Ain't childbirth just the most beautiful miracle on earth? Seems a lady can birth monkeys, after all. Can I drive? Nope. Back up, you Egypt. Ready? Let's get out of here. You was quiet in there. Took everything I had. That son of horse. I'll shove that silver spoon down his throat and pull it clean out of his arse. The smug fucker. Okay. So what she got us doing at the Gray's place? She wants us to torture tobacco fields. Said they ain't had rain in weeks round here. What? Yep, using that back there. Moonshine? Burns faster than kerosene, that stuff. Said it'd be fitting, she did. All I'm thinking is how about I try fitting my boot up your hook now, just snotty old bitch. <laughs> Jose really picked the right fella for tea at the manor, didn't he? Ah, he was giving his usual flannel. One of these families got gold stashed somewhere, he reckons. I mean, I'm all for sticking it to rich folks. I hate rich folks. But they really bear me some bloody money at the end of all this. Jose knows what he's doing. Does he, though? The master finagler of nothing. Can't you go any faster? Easy, easy. So far, we've destroyed the Braithwaite still. Tried to sell the shine back to them. They were on this fool's errand, which I'm very much looking forward to, by the way. They were saying old man Gray's double security after that business at the saloon. So, we're just gonna drive on in there, is that it? Don't worry, I got a plan. Wagons go in and out of there all the time with supplies, equipment, payroll. Especially now they're taking on all that extra muscle. We're making a delivery, that's all. Just leave it to me. We can talk a dog off a meat wagon. <laughs> All right, then. Yeah. about them greys, English. Excuse me? You not worried about them greys. In what sense? Well, they knows you. Yeah, maybe you're right. You know what? Here, I'll go hiding back. If you can act naturally and stop us from getting into a fight before we're ready. I will try. Yes. Try and do an impression of a human being. I'm not going to go that far. <laughs> Stay out of sight. I'll do the talking. Hey, hold him right there. What you want, boy? I've, I've, there, there was a thing, a, a, a thing, at the saloon. What you talking about? Well, I'm delivering the supplies. You're not the usual driver. Uh, you want a bottle, friend? Here. Uh, uh, have a wee drop. <laughs> I'm new. I, I mean you no harm. Uh, I, I've come from Donegal in, in Ireland. You don't say? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they said you'd understand uh, some kind of incident at the saloon in town. I, I was told to bring this up here. Ask no questions, I'll tell you no lies. Uh, sort of business. Uh, uh, before the officials got there, okay. they said. Okay. Drive this way. I'll show you how to get there. Oh, thank you, friend. Uh, have a drink, Sean. <coughs> uh, Hamish. Good to meet you, Hamish. 
<laughs> uh, fine bit of country you've got here. Uh, not as fine as Connemara, but fine nonetheless. My people come from Scotland. Is that right? Then you and I are nearly brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Just over here. Eh, yeah, straight down the path here. It's getting so I can barely keep track of all these deliveries coming in. Yeah, and they said they was looking for more drivers in town. I jumped at the chance. I never been a feller to kick a bit of honest work out of bed. <laughs> so, you folks been having a hard time of it, have you? Yeah, Mr. Gray's got a heap of problems right now with another family around here. Bunch of covetous lowdowns trying to sabotage his livelihood. Disgusting. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Hamish. Sounds like you definitely deserve that drink. <laughs> you don't know the half. Just in there. Ah, right you are. <laughs> you can unload it here. In here? Oh, <laughs> the horse is like a, a swift one, <clears throat> do they? <laughs> Excuse me? Um, nothing. It's grand. <clears throat> uh, quite a place you yeah. boys have got here. <laughs> Reminds me of one of them big houses there, uh, out in Donegal. Huh. Real fancy place as they was, Hamish. Real fancy. Because if some folks got all the money, they can build quite the fanciest places imaginable, eh? Mm. A bridge man, soaps on shite, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Come on, Arthur. What are you playing at? I was enjoying the monologue. I'm glad I'm not your brother. Where? Let's get on with this. I'm not the one who was dawdling. How you getting on? Good. Nearly got these things ready. Okay. There's plenty of guards out there. Here's how I feel we should deal with things. You head over to the dry barn. Sure. And you? I'm gonna deal with the fields themselves. We coat everything in moonshine. And then we light things up with these little fellers here. Thankfully, it ain't rained. And that old barn over there should go up like a torch. <laughs> How many of these boys you think you need? They should do it. Let's head out the back. Look, once they get wind of us, there'll be no turning back, so move quickly. Of course. I'm rebel stock, boy. I was born burning down manor houses. We'll burn quietly. There's someone coming on the left. Ha. Oh, hey. Well, I, I thought the wagon already arrived. This one didn't. Strange. So, what you got there? Tools, payroll. Okay. Drop it by the supply shed at the back of the fields. Sure. See you later. You hear that? Payroll. Yeah. Let's get this job done first, okay? Just let me deal with our friend here. Come on. You douse the fields. I'll meet you at the barn. Try to stay out of trouble.
That's good. Follow me for you, Agent. for you. I'm gonna tell this too.
Let you go, Arthur. Light her up. Light one of them balls you got. Would you look at that? Yeah. Now let's burn those bloody fields to the ground. We got company. Look out! This is a goddamn mess. See, there it is. Maybe the loaded that cash yet? They didn't tell you there'd be an army of them. They didn't tell me nothing. All right, come on, we'll take those horses. Well, let's see if the payroll is actually in there. Hurry up. Boy, we did good, Morgan. We did good. Great, but let's go. Looky here, you get them horses, free marker. Come on. Step. Okay, let's get the hell out of here fast. You right, follow me. Kill. There's more of them! This yep. is... You got dead! That great weight hag got our money's worth, Arley. Let's just get out of here first. I think we lost them. That we did. Quite a night. Sure. Interesting little fight Dutch has put us into the middle of here. I hope him and Jose are right and that there's some money at the end of it. Well, what now? Head on back to camp. You coming? Sure.
Here we are. Home sweet home. You let Jose know how we got on. Will do. Hey, you got any tobacco? <laughs> I'm busting for the smoke. Hey, Sean. You all right there? Yes. Why wouldn't I be? I'm just asking. No need to get defensive. All right, then. All right, Lenny. There, girl. Got hold of some oleander. Good. I'll make some arrows for you later and leave them by your tent. Thank you. Good morning. All right. Good morning. Don't forget to go hunting, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, I will. Mr. This will help the stew. Mr. Williamson. Sure. Might as well make some money off it. Thank you, Arthur. How are you on space in that bag of yours, Mr. Morgan? Just let me know if you need me to make you a new one. things with you? Very well. Good for you. Thanks, Pierce.
Me and Lenny brought some guns in. Robbed them off that gang that runs around here. Good work, Arthur. I figure you'd know best how to sell them. All right, well, I should be getting on. See you later. <laughs> 